What if we were to tell you that modern submarines are black for the same reason the tires on your car are black? That's right. But before the rubber meets the road, we need to talk about submarines and camouflage. Before the invention of nuclear power, submarines actually spent more time on the surface than underwater, and so camouflaging was essential. During World War I, the United States conducted experiments in order to protect their submarines against visual detection. The results showed that for a surfaced submarine, a light gray hull with black decks provided as good of a visual protection as any other method. But in the mid-30s, another issue arose, as it became apparent that submerged submarines can be observed by aircraft flying over them, as long as the submarines were not too deep down. Looking for a solution, the United States conducted another series of tests in 1937 at Pearl Harbor. As part of the experiments, submarines were painted black, dark blue, purple, green, and various other combination of colors. The conclusion was that dark blue offered the best concealment in deep, clear, tropical waters and the commander ordered his division to repaint the submarines dark blue. But as the camouflage testing continued, a new problem surfaced, as the blue paint deteriorated after application and acquired a lighter, milky tone. In the end, the decision to paint submarines black was made due to the superior durability of black paint and not because of black color's camouflaging characteristics. Fast forwarding to 2006, the Royal Navy painted HMS Torbay a new shade called Steely Blue as after conducting exhaustive trials and lab tests, they found out that black was the worst low-key color to deceive the enemy. While black color did perform in darker North Atlantic waters, in brighter seas, the new blue shade was twice as hard to spot. HMS Torbay was sent on a six-month secret mission to test out this new color, and it was expected that the entire fleet of Royal Navy's submarines would be repainted steely blue. But something must have been discovered during the testing of the steely blue shade, as the Royal Navy's newest astute-class submarines are still black. Here is a random fact, HMS Torbay was the first British warship to be controlled using Microsoft Windows operating system, which was the... I wonder if that's what Steely Blue looks like. Here comes the interesting part. It appears that most modern submarines are not painted at all. Instead, they're covered with anechoic tiles, which happen to be black. Anechoic tiles are predominantly made of rubber that contains thousands of tiny voids, which have two unique properties. They absorb the sound waves of active sonar, thereby reducing its effective range, and they also decrease the sound emitted from the vessel itself, like engine noises, which reduces detection range by passive sonar. Just to give you an idea about the sound absorption properties of the anechoic tiles, back in 2009, HMS Vanguard and French Navy's Triumphant were traveling at low speeds in the Atlantic Ocean. The anechoic tiles were so effective that neither submarine's passive sonar detected the other submarine, resulting in them colliding into one another. Anechoic tiles were first used by Germans as early as 1940 under U-boats. By 1970, Soviets started covering their submarines by 4-inch or 10-centimeter thick rubber tiles, and that helped reduce the Akula-class submarine's acoustic signature by 10 to 20 decibels. By the 1980s, both the Royal Navy and the US Navy started utilizing the anechoic tiles. But why are the anechoic tiles black? Answering this question is key to understanding why modern submarines are black. Anechoic tiles are typically made of rubber, but believe it or not, rubber's natural color is white. For instance, over a century ago, all the tires on cars were actually white, just like this Ford Model T. Which begs the question, if rubber is white, why are tires black? And it's time to say, it's not what you think. What makes tires black is the addition of carbon black to the rubber. Carbon black is often used as color pigment in paints, but tires are black, not for cosmetic reasons, but because adding carbon black to the rubber mixture increases the tensile strength and the road wear abrasion resistance of the tire by over 10 times. In fact, carbon black is mainly used as a reinforcing filler due to its unique property of making things more durable. And this is why all rubber products where tensile and abrasion wear properties are important contain carbon black and thus are black in color. Carbon black is also the reason why black paint is much more durable than other colors.
But we are not quite done with carbon black. Since a submarine experiences extreme pressure differences as it submerges and resurfaces, the anechoic tiles are under a lot of pressure, so using carbon black filler in the rubber mixture makes a lot of sense. Moreover, research shows that carbon black reinforced rubber has the best sound absorption performance when compared to rubbers that use other reinforcing fillers. While the exact composition of anechoic tiles used on submarines is not public knowledge, during our research of academic papers, we found that the amount of carbon black added to the mixture influences the tile's sound absorption properties. Since various parts of the submarine produce different sound frequencies, a variety of different anechoic tiles are attached to the different parts of the submarine. If you're interested in the research, check out the references in the video description. But one last question remains. If dark blue is the best camouflage color, why not paint the anechoic tiles dark blue? And also, why are the bottoms of some submarines red? Well, the exact details around the stealth properties of submarines are not publicly available. North Korea and Iran paint their submarines green, and Israel paints theirs blue. Go figure. But there might be a dilemma about painting submarines in general. If you paint the tiles, it seems to negatively impact the sonar stealth properties of the submarine. But if you don't paint them, organic life like algae and barnacles will slowly cover the bottom of the submarine, which over time has a similar negative impact. That said, if the bottom is to be painted, Anti-fouling paint such as cuprous oxide is used, a red chemical compound which slows down the growth of organisms, which is why the bottom of submarines and ships in general is red. Oh, and the cruise ships are white or mostly white because that's the color that best reflects the sun's energy, keeping air conditioning costs to a minimum. This video was brought to you by the...